sitting here watching the tide come in. I realize there's just an incredible amount of life just right here. It's amazing. Um, there's a ton of hermit crabs. And they are just raging all around. I can see about five little uh, sculpins <laughs> moving all around. Oh, there's a hermit crab. I wanted to get a, try to get a close up of a hermit crab here. There's just so much life in the sea. Another gorgeous morning here. Strawberry Island, Tenneke Inlet. Super low tide. Tides are incredible in Alaska. Super, super low, so. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, can you focus? Alaska hermit crab. There's hundreds of them here right now. It's actually really pretty. His shell is purple. There's another one. Oh, coming out after him. Gotta get better at this kind of videography. Close up hermit crabs. Anyway, it's just an incredible little bit of life in this two square feet <laughs> in front of me here. Oh, that's the gorgeous day. So we're gonna go get a cup of coffee and to town. Good job. Good job. Stroke. Stroke. Big leans, that's how you gotta do it. It's the big lean. Oh, she's really good at it. Okay, so push down to pick. Daddy, why do the arms square? Well, you see how they spin? So what you and you have to put it at that angle so it catches the water. Okay, ready? Do a big one. Big pull. Oh, <laughs> good job. Isn't that cool? I'm teaching her. Do it again. Good job. All you All your up. body. Good, good job. job. Good job. Look, she's really getting it done. Okay, so now you gotta twist your oar a little bit, okay? Good Perfect. job. Good job. Okay, do a big one. Big pull. Oh. <laughs> oh, look at her doing this, huh? Yeah. Hey, a good job. <laughs> is, I'm so proud of you. Good job. Do another one. Good job. Do another one. Good job. It is, it is very cold. <laughs> what happened there? I thought you were going back out of the boat. I couldn't get my leg up. We were like coming in and then you were like, then you were like going back out. <laughs> Every day is different leaving the island. Oh. Good job, Ara. Ara's learning how to row. She's doing really well. Yeah. Look at her turning the boat around. See her? Look at all this current. It looks like oil in the water almost, but it's not. Wow. What an incredible week out here. It's <laughs> insane. 
Another just absolutely Daddy, beautiful you day. Do this all when I do this all. Okay. Okay, I'll turn this around. Good job, Ara. Big stroke. Good job. Big stroke. Okay, pick it up and move it forward. Then you gotta pull it, remember? Big pull. Oh, good job. Good job. Big lean, Ara. Good job. Good job. Stroke. Stroke. Big leans. That's how you got to do it. It's the big lean. Oh, she's really good at it. Okay, so push down to pick. Daddy, why do the arms square? Well, you see how they spin? So what you want to do is you have to spin it till it's the perfect angle, which is right there. And then you go forward and you go pull. And you have to put it at that angle so it catches the water. Okay, ready? Do a big one. Big pull. Oh, good job. Isn't that cool? I'm teaching her. Do it again. Good job. All you got, oh, Ava. Good job. Good job. Look, she's really getting it down. Okay. So now you got to twist your oar a little bit, okay? Perfect. Good job. Okay, do a big one. Big pull. Oh, oh look at her doing this, huh? Ava, good job. <laughs> Is, I'm so proud of you. You walk. You walk with me. Stroke. Ah. Job. Do another one. Stroke. Good job. Do another one. Stroke. Good job. Stroke. Oh, she's really getting it down. Do you want a little break? Okay, good job, Ava. Good job. Well, you climb up in the bow and I'll row us out to the jetty, okay? <laughs> wow, isn't that cool? She only started to get that down yesterday. That's crazy. You see, she's like ready to pull. I mean, full body, both hands. Like, she just needs a little bit of practice. I mean, she's getting it too. Just oh, a little yeah. bit of practice on picking the oar up. Yeah. <laughs> cool. Well, there's Strawberry Island. And we're going to head over to town. Pretty cool right here you can actually see the like ball formation that they make also my shadow headed out there look there's fishies around him you see him Ava? yes look look at those little fishies around him there's thousands and thousands and thousands of salmon fry swimming by mm -hmm. maybe they're sailing some more on that line. Yep. They're swimming so fast. There are so many of them here. Look how they're just all swimming in a perfect line. As far as I can see. So the salmon fry are in. So this is them. They come out of the river into the salt water. Then the next thing we'll see are the Dolly Varden will come in chasing the salmon fry and that's some really fun fishing so just millions and millions of uh are they going home they're actually going out to sea era eventually are they going out to sea to go home i think these are pink salmon but i'm not actually 100 percent so many it's still coming as far as i can see you can't, it's really hard to get the photo with the glare, the video, but, oh, wow, cool. That was really cool. Oh, if you look at the water, you can see how, oh, the whole water is just covered. So, look at it, it's a huge school. It's at, what it actually is, is a giant school, it's going in a big circle. So there's salmon fry jumping thick, as far as I can see, towards the beach in this direction, and like a, Wow. Yeah, that is a huge school. I, I see another one. That's the jellyfish on the bottom. See it? Yep. There's a big jelly down there, Aira. Big jellyfish. Mm -hmm. it, but get it. So these guys are going to keep going go on this? their <laughs> tough journey to becoming salmon.
Yep. Hello, and if Papa. they make it back, the, the same school, whatever's left of it, you know, maybe 1% or something. I don't know what the numbers are, but not very many. <laughs> However many make it back will be the same, probably the same school of fish that are going to come into the same river. One of these big rivers here. So we'll be able to see them, you know, the same school if all goes well. Some portion of it will come back to the river. Oh, that's so nice of them to have a school. <laughs> There's always huge schools of salmon fry, but this is a very, very big one here. It's a really good, always a good sign. But what is, hey, do you have a pizza? I think so. How about we be the teachers? Okay, we'll teach them. <laughs> wow. That was yeah. a big one. How about we teach them how? This is a huge school How animal. about we teach them how to here. make a duck? I don't see much feeding on them now, but it's going to be happening. We had a whale come into the harbor and uh, lunge feed all day on these uh, salmon fry this week. I wasn't in town. I wish I was. Or maybe if I was in town, I was up at work. But uh, some people took some amazing photos and videos. Came right in and it just... Yep. And the whale just scooped up big mouthfuls of these fry all over the harbor right around the docks. They kind of school up around the docks. Wow. Daddy. Just millions and millions of uh, Daddy, how about we teach them salmon how fry to on their jump. way out. I have a we teach them how to jump. How do we have to how do we have Daddy how do we how Yeah I don't I don't know what we can teach these salmon fry. They're going to have to figure it out all how on their own. Hey, how about we think, Daddy, what are those salmon fry's names? Well, you can name them whatever you want. I want to name them Bluey. Bluey, that's a good name. And all of them can be Bluey. <gasps> Maybe they're cousins. Yeah. Wow. So yeah, they're jumping just, I'm not sure how well you can see it, but just as far as you can see. See them? Yeah, look. So that just means that, I mean, anywhere you see them boiling on the surface, that means that's just a thick school. So we're at the edge of the school, the center of it. It's maybe like 20, 30 feet out from me. It's apparently basically like this entire the side of the harbor. The school is opening. Yeah, <laughs> the school is opening. So we're going to uh, walk up and... Uh, we're going to go do some video editing at my parents' house because we can get out of the sun. We've been getting cooked. The sun's so intense that uh, I'm looking forward to just sitting down in the shade for a minute, which is pretty funny. So, Well, good luck, little salmon fry. Always stoked to see them. In the fall, in August and later, we'll be up the river and uh, we'll get to see the full-grown salmon. Um, schools just all packed in up in the river. That's going to be some really, really, really cool footage. It's one of my favorite things to do is to go up the rivers here. There's an incredible school of salmon fry over here, babe. It's huge. Okay, here we go. I think we're going to take a forest walk today as well. It'll be nice and cool in the forest. Oh, breaching! Oh my breaching gosh! Way over there. <laughs> oh, we just looked over and I see it in the light. giant the whales light completely the out of the water over there and then boom huge explosion wow what a moment huh that was pretty crazy i was just sitting here i was like yeah it's funny there's nothing feeding on them wow yeah i wouldn't have got that on the camera anyway but we are going to have some awesome whale footage there it is oh, boom God, with our bare eyes, um, you can see just the entire whale. I mean, yeah, it's amazing. I'm getting a better camera. This is a pretty good one, but. I see so many jellyfishes. Man, I saw that whole one that time, babe. Oh, look. Something's eating the fry over there by the skiff. Over by my dad's skiff. I think that was the dollies. Wow. Well, there you go. See, 
and there's the birds. See, everything's... <laughs> the mammals are here. Daddy, Daddy, come on. Oh. We had to go. Oh! Got it on camera. Yeah! Wow, right out there in front of town. What, what an amazing place. Oh, there it is. Got it on camera. Second, do you think I could like make blow up the video? I mean, it seems like you might be able to do it. It's going to be quality. Hey. Gotten two breaches on film. <laughs> you zoomed in at nine. Breach, right there. Did you get that one? Mm -hmm. I saw it. Dude. dude, I need to get a new camera. This is ridiculous. What? She's going to do it again. He's just going crazy. I'm ordering new one. He looks, he dives. Just a couple seconds later, he's gonna breach right out of there. Was that the third or the fourth? Fourth. This whale has just been breaching like crazy way out here. Let's see if he does it again. He's done it like four or five times, I think. There he goes. Right? Right by the reef. Oh, look, Lisa's gonna go and. Gonna go check it out. It's good whale watching. He's gonna dive down. Koa, quit barking. Thank you. Oh, there, there he dives down. Okay, let's see if we get one more. There he goes. Nikki from Strawberry Island this morning. This is a beautiful black calm day. This town is just so special. It's just this small, quaint community. There's enough people that it feels like a community, but there's not too many people that it feels like a 
big city or and it's not like just a it's not just like a tourist city like it's not just overrun by people coming and gawking and everything it's really fun because in the summer you do get people coming on cruising boats and um, and like coming on their sailboats or coming on a charter boat and that is so much fun because you get all these new faces in here but you're not getting 30,000 people a day or however many you get in Juno on those boats it's like everybody is genuine that comes through and you have the repeat boats that come every year and you build the you build the relationship with them and get to know them and it's really fun and then in the winter a lot of people go away but then it just kind of draws the community together a little bit more it seems like of the people that are here and it's really special for us to be involved with i feel like um I feel very fortunate and I don't take it for granted the fact that we have the privilege to be able to do this and live this life and the fact also that we are able to travel back and forth between here and Juno creates kind of the perfect balance. It's like I get to go back into Juno and we're able to buy groceries at a far more reasonable price, be able to uh go socialize a little bit more go do go to the pool go uh i have a lot of family there so air is able to visit her cousin and my mom is there and it's uh it's really special to be able to go back there and be so close it's not like i have to like travel to the east coast to go visit my family is right there and we live there also and um, that's where we're gonna be building our home and um, but this is also our home and this is where Sterling grew up but it really does feel like another home for me too and it's, uh, it's a really amazing community probably blabbered on and said a bunch of weird stuff because I don't I'm not the best talker but uh, it really is just a genuine town and really special One of the things that is so lucky about this town is that we do get a seaplane and um, it is very expensive, but something is better than nothing to be able to transport back and forth. And uh, because this town is right on the water, there's no runway. So it has to be a float plane, which is super amazing. You can see this plane is taking off right now.
Did you get our drink, Ava? There he is. Okay, I think we'll walk up down. Did you get our drink, Eva? There he is. Okay, I think we'll walk up down. Here's the Lacante coming into Teneke Springs, Alaska. Beautiful sunny day. Ferries are my favorite form of transport, other than my own boat, which is what I really like to do. Hey! This whale has just been breaching like crazy way out here. Let's see if he does it again. He's done it like four or five times, I think. There he goes! Lisa's gonna go and gonna go check it out. It's good whale watching. You see a dive down. Koa, quit barking. Thank you. Oh, there, there he dives down. Okay, let's see if we get one more. Hello. 
There he goes. Go on, sit. Oh my gosh, babe. Oh, 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 This whale has just been breaching like crazy way out here. Let's see if he does it again. He's done it like four or five times, I think. There he goes. Is that another one? Right. Right by the reef. Oh, look, Lisa's gonna go and gonna go check it out. Good whale watching you. See a dive down. Koa, quit barking. Thank you. Oh, there, there he dives down. See if we get one more. There he goes. Go <laughs> oh. 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 cool, sit. Oh my gosh, babe. Okay, we go. Mmm. On this episode, on this episode of Ara the Woodcutter, she has decided to take the old forest trail behind town. Ah, oh, resting. No, Mama. This is the old trail before, whoops, before they built the new trail. Good job, Ira. Gladiator. No, we're going to go this way, Ava. Eh, we got to go this way. <laughs> Stay in the shade, babe. I'll go get her. Oh, parenting is tiring sometimes. Not this little guy. He's not causing any problems yet. He causes his own kind of problems. <laughs> his time will come. Oh. Upset we stopped moving. Whew.
Let me get this little family down to the boat. Ava Tara. Good morning. One of the highlights of today's video and one of the highlights of our day was that I caught a nice sized, nice large sized um, Alaska king crab right off the harbor dock um, with my fishing rod. Um, the crab was a female, so we did throw it back. We were going to film uh, me pulling it up with the rod, but usually if you ever get a crab on a fishing rod, the crab will just grab onto your weight or your bait, and then you pull it up and he'll let go right before he gets to the surface. So I saw the king crab and I told Elizabeth to put down the camera and let's get him on the dock, which we did. And then when I realized that it was a female, um, I wanted to get it back in the water as quickly as possible. It's a beautiful crab. So we didn't get a lot of good footage, but uh, we caught that king crab on a, just a normal salmon basically a salmon rig, a herring, a weight, and a couple of hooks uh, right off the dock, and I uh, hooked him right through one leg, snagged him somehow. Well, here we go. I accidentally caught a king crab on my salmon rod um, off the harbor dock. We think it's a female, so we're going to send him back. Send her back. Here we are home at Corner Bay for the evening. Absolutely gorgeous. The wind's dying down, it's just beautiful. We've been watching one decent sized bear on the beach again tonight. Another nice bear. Now we're going to take a little row in there in our dinghy and uh, see if we can get a look at him. Could be the same bear. He's in the same spot as yesterday. He's hanging out just below the heavy grass line. So there's the dark green grass that's like the shoreline and he's below that. I think he's eating peach asparagus, well, I think, but we're going to go take a look. Come on, Ara. You want to? You want to come look at the bear with me? Yeah. I'll take one more bite of steak, babe. try take two here. So Ara can sit in the bow and with a plate of food as soon as you can and I'll take my shotgun just in case <laughs> the bear gets a whiff of Ara's steak. <laughs> Man I've been just getting over this cold in the middle of summer and it always sucks to go through a cold in the summer. Hey, Ira. You ready to go? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hi, well, I'm going to row us over there. And then I'm going to row us over there and you're going to row us back. You have to write the bow because you have to tell me where to go to see if we see the bear, okay? You want to row with me? Okay. <laughs> Can you help me, babe? <laughs> look at all those girls are in the fishing. Daddy, look, they're coming right by us. They're swimming by us? Yes. What, do you want to sit in the bow and eat? Yeah. Okay, you can sit in the bow and have your fancy dinner. And then we will. You can grab it. And then.
You see a bear? row I pull hard and I lean forward and the bow is dipping down a little bit do you see the bear over there uh -huh. on the left mm -hmm. beautiful sunset right now <sighs> Well, it's a real beautiful moment in time for us. Elizabeth and Nels, Ara and I. We got our family camp on the island. Just spending a little time getting to know each other and settling into our new life with our new baby and <sighs> so many babies. Aris <laughs> says so many babies. She keeps asking for another one. We live such a cool life, I think, and. Elizabeth and I have so many amazing wildlife encounters. Um, it's always been like that between us. Like we just, every time we go out, we just have these just shocking wildlife encounters. Um, you know, whether it's pods of porpoises surrounding the boat or killer whales just going right by us on the beach, right off the beach. We're seeing a real glacier bear. It's just, we always have the most amazing wildlife encounters together. So I'm really excited to get better at wildlife videography. Because if I can show you guys what I get to see every year, basically every day, Southeast Alaska. It's gonna be really cool. Really cool. So, right now we're taking a little row with my daughter and we're rowing in from our Strawberry Island. Oh, he's still here. Forgot my shotgun, so <laughs> we're gonna have to row hard. <laughs> no. You never want to run from a bear. I think you'd be better just kind of stopping and getting them psyched out so we can swim back to the beach. Man, you can almost see the bear on the camera. We're gonna go a little closer. And I'll try to get a good shot of him. Don't stop them. You won't shoot him, don't worry. Do you see him in here? Isn't he so beautiful? Wow. He was really good at wildlife photography. Beautiful grizzly right in front of us here. We're gonna do our best for you. Just a 
about sunset. Switch to the back seat. You having a good dinner, sweetie? Well, take your time. You can use your hand to eat if you want to. So here's my little daughter, Aira, eating a wonderful meal here. And what we're doing is we're watching a grizzly bear. It's right in here. Just gonna take a little bit of a shot of the dinghy just so you can kind of see. Here's me in the back. And we're just really safe in our little coracle here. Ava's actively eating her dinner up there. There's her fork. And we're just watching this bear. I'm gonna zoom in on him here. You see something? Sorry, this is we're bouncing in the boat right now, so I'm trying to beach us. My daughter and Aaron and I doing some wildlife photography. We're in our little boat right now, so I'm trying my best here. I'm gonna see what I can do. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna try my very best. Well, that was, uh, oh, there's a deer. Okay, we're not done yet. It's not the, I missed an incredible moment. There was the bear on the beach and there were three giant deer next to us that I didn't see because I was staring at that bear and kind of worried about it a little bit. So, 
I st and we were bouncing around in the waves, so I stopped filming, Aira said a noise, and then there was this beautiful moment where the bear ran away, and all three deer ran away right by us, we're bounding along, totally missed it, so. There's actually another deer I see here, so I'm just gonna come in and try to get a little bit of good footage of this deer to just redeem myself a little bit. But I'm sure with wildlife photography, that's what happens sometimes. Beautiful moment though. It was just beautiful. Three deer bounding away and the big bear was about maybe 100 yards away from the deer. Aaron and I are landing right now. Let's see what I can do here. Okay, you stay right there, okay? Okay. It's glorious. Ah, so I just scared away a bear and three deer. Well, I'll take a look at Aaron did. It's okay. It's okay. Yep. We got one little deer right here. So this is just an average night on the beach where our camp is. So I just scared off a bear and three big deer that all ran off. And I was like, oh man, blew that one. And I look over and there's a pretty big deer right there looking at me. Over here is another deer looking at me. Right there. It's a nice little deer. And then the bear. The one bear that was here is just right back in the woods there, I'm sure. It's incredible how much life there is here. Looking at it from the island, it feels in Bested with bear and the deer are everywhere too. So we're gonna leave these guys alone, let them have a good evening. So this one over here has already gone back to eating. Elizabeth made a steak tonight, so we're having steak. And a potato. And potatoes. She just got this perfect medium rare going on there. And we're all anchored up here <laughs> at our anchorage at Strawberry Island. You know, banana slugs actually usually don't live in the water, they live on the beach. <laughs> so there's a beautiful uh, sunset in Tenneke Inlet with Strawberry Island. And we're going to row back to the Jenny. Um. <laughs> As far as wildlife viewing, that was incredible. Uh, five deer and one big bear all at once, really cool. Didn't quite nail it on the wildlife videography or photography. It's part of it. So we're gonna head back to our island and get our fire going and get all cozy in our tent and call it an evening. Absolutely beautiful.